All righty, Roo, there I am. Now it popped we... up. Hmm. Whoop, whoop. I don't know what we oh, yeah, there. There you are. That's weird. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Mia Cody, thank you so much. Dropping a resub in there right off the bat. I don't even, I just realized I don't have my uh, my stuff up to uh, to say how many, this says how many months it is. But thank you so much. Appreciate that. It just says resubbed. How many months was it? I don't have my dashboard up. Appreciate it. Eight months. Thank you. Long time. Long time. Awesome. All right. Yep. Here we are again. Another week has passed. Another episode. Two left, closer. gentlemen. One Two. Left. Oh, there's one. No, there's one. Two of these left. Oh. Okay. Come he's on. He's counting this string. Oh, he's counting this Catch one. Catch up. I see. Catch up. Two <laughs> of these left. That was challenging. No, no we should stream. We got a, we got a, it's all host, it's all co hosted right here. You should have three windows, right? Can yeah. I can see why this. are they saying no skits? I'm right here, I'm right here, I'm right here, man. <laughs> I'm right here. Who are we missing? I have three windows on mine. Just refresh, refresh. your screen, control F5. I'm yep. scared to refresh. I'm scared to refresh. <laughs> we all had to do that beforehand. Yeah. Got Nate says, I see all three. Hey, Got Nate, do you hear all three? Do you hear all of our voices there, Bada? <laughs> oh, there you are, Sam says. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Is this is this really happening? We got two of these left. We got one episode left. I'm scared. <laughs> McBean, do you remember back in the day when we just first started watching this? I know exactly where oh, we man. were when we first yeah. watched this. I know. Yeah, we actually left work to go to someone's house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> works not much. <laughs> things, things haven't changed much. <laughs> Jeez. Oh boy. Oh man. Yeah, we should have started this episode off with some some bells, though. Oh yeah, yeah. We could have. That would have been that have been great. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, b before we get into the episode, that, that, it's one of the things I want to bring up. I thought they were playing the whole. Uh, bells thing a little too much right i mean they kept mentioning the bells right and of mm -hmm. course that was the name of the episode but um i was thinking like it was gonna go the opposite direction i was thinking like cersei was gonna do it and then like they got their guard down and then they were gonna attack them with our guard was down that's what i thought was gonna happen uh -huh. yeah I don't think the bells uh, really did much. <laughs> I don't want to start with the first picture because then it means it's closer to the end. <laughs> well, we it was. Here, just keep talking. They'll keep it was, it was closer to the end for, for the person in this picture. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Good transition, right. Skiss. <laughs> Look at, let's, let's talk about this. Uh -huh. So we obviously know what he's writing. Yep. Who's he writing it to? So I'm thinking he did the Ned Stark times 100. What right. Does that mean? So when Ned found out about um, Robert Baratheon's children not being his, he sent a letter to who did he say? He sent it to like he sent it to Stannis, basically saying, "Hey, you're the rightful ruler of Westeros," but he only sent that letter to him. I think he's sending it to all of the noble lords in Westeros, which are like probably like two people left now. But yeah, um, I don't know who's actually left, but I think he had to be sending it to everybody across Westeros. <laughs> you know, I just imagine him with like a stack of papers just running down the hallways, just like throwing them everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you did Twitter back in the day, dude. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. When you're going to have a party at your house because your parents were out of town, you make up all those flyers and just throw them in the hallways of the high school. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty much what he's doing. Well, I'll tell you what, in this scene, when it, I, he's got this plan, he knows what he's doing. And the second he hears those soldiers' footsteps, he's all, well, that's all she wrote. <laughs> he's just like, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and take off my rings because this will do what? it. Uh, you know, that's the question I have. Though. Why Why take your rings off? Yeah. Why burn the note? <laughs> what is yeah. I going to do? Yeah. <laughs> and first off, when you, know? you put a note, if it's burning and you put it into something and you put a lid on it, it you put it out. It's good. The you fire's going to go out. Yeah. He exactly. didn't really think that went through. Stop talking semantics. There's no science in Westeros. <laughs> <laughs> it's all magic. Oh, maybe, this maybe it had brutal. venting holes in the top. I don't well, know. This actually, yeah. So this happened. He was writing the little letters there, and this is when that little bird came in, and he said something interesting to her. He said, "You know, the the greatest risk uh, result in the or the, the something about the greatest reward. Yeah, result in the greatest reward, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, exactly. Who was he writing these letters to? The, yeah, the greater the risk, the greater the reward. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we know the North knows, right? Because Sansa knows, but." Mm -hmm. I mean, 
I don't even know who's in charge of the Westlands, right? That was Lannister homeland. Uh, beats me there. Ugh. Nobody. I mean, there's just like nobody left. I mean, <laughs> I don't know who's sending these letters to. <laughs> well, you know what's funny, dude, is when the when the whole show first started, I always saw uh, Varys and Littlefinger as a bit synonymous of each other. You know, they were both sort mm -hmm. of like in. It had all their little birds. Meddling. They all they're like spy, yeah, meddling and everything. Yeah. So to me, they were kind of similar, but they're not very you know what i mean varies was so much more pure and this that's this is like the way this turned out for him was just brutal man yeah and it's not and it was uh ugh, let's move on because but, there's so we could talk about that forever I mean, he, was, well, this he is, was doing the right thing right i mean he was you, you have to admire that as much as i was like unsure the guy through how many seasons now i'm like oh he's actually a good dude he's trying to do the right thing here so i was kind of proud of him yep so that was actually the first night. So this isn't even the night it happened. So the That's next, uh, right, yeah, yeah we, the next we got that day, going later. we got yeah. John coming to shore here, and this was kind of interesting here. You know, this is where uh, this is where Varys talked about, you know, talking about the gods. Every time a Targaryen is born, the gods flip a coin, and yeah. you know, you're either mad or not. And uh, he believes in Jon Snow, or whatever his name is now, Aegon Targaryen, which I still not a fan of. He's Jon Snow. He's so, Jon Snow. So would he be heads and Danny would be tails then? Apparently so. <laughs> is that how the coin works? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's an interesting, put yourself in various position here. Because he is le he's legitimately one of the smart smartest people that there is, right, on the show. And here he is talking to Jon Snow, trying to convince him, dude, you need to step up. And it's it's not a matter of, hey, step up because you'll be better. It's that he's basically telling him, step up or this world is in some serious pain. And how do you convince him? And John is extremely stubborn in this. You know what I mean? He's like, yeah. she's my queen. It was a, it was the first time actually he's in the entire series that I was like judging John a little bit. Loyal to a fault, right? Like, and loyal to a fault, yeah. absolutely. He That's... is Ned Stark's son. Oh, Andy rules, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, that, that I'm pretty Look sure you that. hit enter at the exact moment I said those words. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and here's the, there's a risk here. I mean, there's a risk because Varys knows. Hey, listen. Once this gets out, I, I'm toast if you don't do this. Uh, and then what do you see up above? You see Tyrion looking down, and he knows what's going on. So he's like, "Crap, I need to yeah. do something about this right now," because Varys knows because I told him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Ugh. not good. Oh, All right, boy. and uh, this I shot. had a different picture for this one. I had a different one, but this one's just so powerful. You can just see it in her face already that she's gone mad, right? Just just this still shot the, alone. Yeah, you the can makeup tell. is outstanding. Yeah. They and she look. I I wonder if uh, Amelia Clark went on some sort of like week long fast before this shot because makeup can't do that. Those eyes are sunk in. And that was the whole premise. She was on, she was not eating anything. She was, this was the first time that I yeah. was like, uh, she's off the rails. <laughs> it's like, and she has a dragon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but this was a tough one, right? I, you know, I'm going to talk about that because a lot, it's like all over like the internet, right? You know, Danny being mad and so forth. I'm not entirely sure she is mad, by the way. Um, and I'll talk about that more toward the end, but she was devastated you know she hadn't eaten her best friend died she just saw her decapitated um she was a she it was tough and then you know Tyrion comes in there and and she knew that she was betrayed that's the crazy thing right and she can't get over the fact that john's the one that told his sister you know, yeah, was, like Varys like... betrayed you, but uh, she's like, "Well, you told Varys, and John, you know, Sansa told you, and so basically, Sansa's just as guilty as you know. Oh, yeah, it's just it's a mess." And he's, he's he, you, you know, he wants to be like, "Can you chill out, please?" <laughs> like, yeah, I, told, I don't know if you know this, but I'm actually the king. It's kind of a big deal. Just chill out. I got. I have to tell somebody. <laughs> I know it's my. Like I said last week, I think he was, it was his right to tell his family who he is and, you know, his history. Now that he knows it, they deserve to know. And like, if he oh, wasn't interested in the throne anyway, then then why, why, you know what I mean? Like, why should she care, right? She shouldn't have let it affect her so much if he was saying, I may be rightful heir, but I'm giving this to you, so relax. But look she what Fatal Touch is saying here. 
she doesn't understand family because hers was garbage. That's actually like, that's an astute observation there. She doesn't actually understand the concept of true family. This is actually the, like the fact that he has to be forthcoming with his own family. This is, this is like foreign territory to her, man. And yeah. she's just, oh, she's, she's definitely not fit to rule. Look at that face. <laughs> Look at the face on mine. Looks better on mine. See that? Yeah, she went from that to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty soon she's gonna look like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. I'd, I'd, I'd take her at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Still like oh. that. Hey, man, no argument here, homie. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, pillow talk, Jakaris. <laughs> <laughs> Good Dude. luck. Good luck surviving that one, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man. How was it, Jerkaris? <laughs> <laughs> no good. Give me a second chance. <laughs> oh, man. So yeah, here we go. This is yeah. this, this was the end of Eris, which is which was sad. You know, it really was. So Tyrion grabs good. his hand. and He says it was me. So he basically saying, "I'm I just basically snitched on you and I'm, I killed you. I killed well, you." I th what he did is he chose his queen. Is what he did. But but the honesty that he did not have to disclose this and he that was a moment of honor and respect for his friend. And it was it was I don't know if it was good or bad. It, it got a little bit of guilt off of Tyrion. But I wonder if just right before the spider dies, if his best friend tells him this, and he's all, oh, good. <laughs> I don't know. Couldn't if wait a few seconds. I'd have been gone. I don't know if it was in the, you know, the, the recap portion of the show or if I saw something else or read something else. But when they were filming this, um, when Tyrion touched him, that was in the script, they said, you know, they put his hand on him. Varys gave him like this look of like, what's going on? Like of shock. And he, mm -hmm. and he asked him, hey, why did you do this? You know, and, and he says, well, I've never been touched before. Right. He, he's never had friends before. Varys hasn't. So it was kind of kind mm -hmm. of like, oh, wow. He, yeah. he took it genuinely. Like, yeah, he is my friend, even though he got me killed. <laughs> Sorry, Skiz. I, when I touch you next time, you're dead. Oh, yeah, you're dead. <laughs> you're Hold on, dead. wait. I can do better than that. Threaten me again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, man. you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Another. Oh, uh, boy. We're moving this through this quick. Pivotal moment here. Yeah, it was. You know, how do you, I mean, how are you supposed to feel? You just saw someone get burned. Well, he. I mean, are you supposed to be in the mood? Right. Well, obviously she was. Well, well it was more than, but she was able to pick up the real thing there. Oh, where she was like, yeah, you're even, you're the person I'm closest to on the planet. And you're afraid of me. And that, and when she ends by saying, she's like, fear it is then. I was like, oh, or no, she says, let it be fear. I'm like, oh, good. Now she's completely committing to that. I took it the opposite way. I think it's that she fears him. She fears him because he is so beloved. That's I think that's, I think there's mm -hmm. merit in that. In this moment, there I don't is. think that's what that was about. But right. I think that's been the case for several episodes now. Yeah. Oh, boy. She makes, she kisses him and he's just like, I want to do this. Yeah, she was just testing him and uh, he didn't, he didn't pass. What she wanted, anyway. I still would have passed. I would have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Where's going to be the whole time? I don't care what you can do. Uh, you can burn uh, the whole place down. Burn the, I don't, I don't burn care the world. if she's my aunt. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Andy Rules. You can that do was no odd. wrong. Jeez. Yeah. That kiss scene was super odd. It, and he yeah. was... <laughs> she kissed him, but he was just like... Oh god! <laughs> All I was thinking about was I could still smell the burning body out there. Exactly. <laughs> take a little hiatus. I was getting kind of hungry. Mm -hmm. Oh man! This is my aunt. Yeah, <laughs> auntie. Uh, oh wait, wait, you know what was interesting though is a uh, gray worm was in there. It was like he wasn't, you know, he wasn't gonna let John just talk to her until he was dismissed. By the way, which is interesting. Uh, so Grey Worm, what I've seen here, Grey Worm and uh, and Danny are one in the same right now. Yeah, they are both. Neither one of them was able to process their grief. Neither one of them will probably ever process their grief. All they have in their hearts right now is blood, and and it's both of them. And I, and I, I think that they have this like tight connection because of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think uh, we'll get into it later, but. I think the two had an understanding of uh, what they were going to do when those bells rang, too, right? 
Yeah, that's mm. that was an interesting turn. Yep. I don't know. Well, let's get there. I, we'll get there. I, I disagree with that. We'll okay, so, what is this shot from? This, so this right here, this is the, the this is before they go into battle, and this is where Tyrion pleading with Danny to say, "Hey, listen, if oh, if you dude. hear the bells, right? If you hear the bells, that's them surrendering. The city is yours. You don't need to sack it. You know." if you hear the bells and that's why I'm like, God, they keep saying this, something's going to happen. But again, went completely different direction than I thought. Um, but yeah, this is him just pleading for that. And she had even mentioned, right. That, you know, she, she had fought for, you know, people like this. And I thought she was good. I thought she was going to do the right thing. Boy, was that you know, wrong. what's interesting. I thought, so first of all, um, I, you know, I'm, I go back and forth in regards to who my favorite character has been the whole time. And, I think the bottom line is, is Peter Dinklage has just been <laughs> my number one, right, in the entire show. And what I'm finding interesting here is that he's been so calculated season after season. He knows what he's doing. He's the smartest guy. He knows what he's doing. He, you know, he wants the greater good. This was the first time I've seen genuine panic on, on with him. This is the first time where I've seen him, like, be at his wit's end. As he tr try as he might to get some control and talk some sense into people, he was doing a great job, like, portraying that, it doesn't matter how much logic I can put out there. This woman's gone crazy. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he's, you could tell he's just like, what, what am I supposed to do? Everybody he's talking to, like he, he's it's really, the panic is starting to set in. He's grasping at straws. And he's kind of walking on thin win. ice as well, right? Like she's one, one mistake away from, from killing him basically. Right. Seriously. Yeah, seriously. Not even. Yeah. Everybody's tipping around on eggshells right yep. now. Yep. And it's not like, I mean, let's just say, let's say you're there, right? I mean, you know, you don't want to have to kill her, but what if you did? I'm pretty sure the dragon's going to just take you out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think you could just kill her and get away with it. Unless, and I have a theory there, I won't go into it. Yeah. I, well, I, I think, you know, what scares me, what scares me is next episode, what his fate is. Me too. Maybe he'll rule all. Yeah, maybe we'll save some time at the end that we can uh, talk about what we think is going to happen next week so we can all be miserably wrong as we uh, yeah, recap true. next That's week's show that. next week. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. oh, boy. So this, this time, this time yeah. she didn't run <laughs> from the ships. Yeah, and, she and went yeah, right I think at him. I was like, wait, what are you doing? Don't you listen to our stream last week? You should have came from behind yeah. and got lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and... It was we called it as well with the clouds. Definitely. It, here's the funny yeah. thing: when he was looking up, I seriously, when I saw the dragon, I said, "That's a bird." You know, I really thought I'm like they're just playing with you here. Sure hmm. enough, it wasn't. Oh, but I thought, man, a little little raven flying down. You know, that would have been cool though. No, that actually would have been really cool if they did that just to lighten the mood. A little bit. <laughs> you see a big spear just hit a raven out of the sky. <laughs> no, no, no. If you're on, you're on, like looks up like he does that thing where he did this, you know, like, is that the dragon? And then like bird poop. Bird on. poop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what the show needs. More just random comedy like yeah. that. Then he um... skids the kind I want to be a writer. And then like 95% of the time they'd be like, skids, shut up. But every once in a while would be like, no, let's do that. Let's do what's good said. <laughs> <laughs> they would employ you for 10 years just for one good moment <laughs> oh, oh, man. yeah she went nuts and then that's uh that's the way they were able to breach and get on in there and start working their magic man i was just kind of like okay why didn't you just do that last time like yeah what what difference I, I, I was know. there in the strategy? It was the same really was same it. issue, same boats, same you know scorpions or whatever. And this time she's like, okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna burn them this time instead of running away. Like I don't know. She she went right for it. She was just mad. Yeah, uh, yeah, but she because at this point she don't care. Yeah, she, she don't, don't. She don't care. She just wants to kill everybody. Yeah. It worked. Mm. Worked. She dodged some dodged some spears and stuff. Yeah, while this is going on, yeah, you've got uh, the three amigos there hanging out in city gates. Look at those scorpions, too. Those things are bad, man. Jeez. Yeah. Just huge. Those things are the real deal. Yeah. Why didn't they just, like, got, yeah. aim them down at the crowd? That's what I'm thinking. Like... You could take out probably 20 or 30 people in yeah. one shot because it would just go through all of them. No, dude, you need to save those bullets. Those are for dragons. I wonder how many they let have. those people come up to the wall and then let the archers do their thing. Save those for the dragon. Yep. 
<laughs> if I'm in charge, McBean, and you fire one of those things at the people, I'd be like, get off, get off, come on, get off. You wouldn't <laughs> be in charge of this battle. Yes, I would. I nope, would be. you'd be out there trying to make people laugh. <laughs> I'd be out there a ball horn, just trying to do some comedy. Hey, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> the arrow goes whizzing by my head. I'm all, yeah. <laughs> 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 for King, Busty says. Yeah, he'd be out there. You know, he'd have the wig going. You know, <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? We're good, right? It's not, it's not, it's not a bad. Bad. We're going to party. <laughs> <laughs> what are we all so upset about? Come on. Oh, my God. We got goodness. ale. We got dragons. <laughs> Basically, you'd be like Robert Baratheon. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I would. I would be a Robert Baratheon king. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so, yeah, you got the uh, the explosion. Drogon came from behind and just blew open the gates. And then just oh, started to, to just, again, demolish the scorpions. Yep. Easy, look easy. at that. Look at that look on Grey Worm. Look at Davos. He's got the same look. Yeah, doesn't Davos not fight? Yeah, I know. Why? Well, he's, he's, he's a seasoned he's veteran like, Guys, now. I'm not supposed to be here. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You know, one of the things that we, we I didn't uh, have a screenshot for um, was Tyrion rescuing his brother, basically, or releasing his brother. Oh yeah, yeah. Jamie and 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 I think you know it's something we we got to talk about here for a little bit, right? That it was I think it was a touching moment between them, especially with Tyrion saying that you know. Jamie was the only person that ever cared for him, that ever stood up for him. You know, it was his big brother. That was huge. And, yeah, it was. And uh, that's one of the reasons, probably the main reason why I think Danny's going to potentially do something to him next episode, because as he put it, I don't know who told you to, you know, keep guard, but I'm sure I outranked them by a few <laughs> to the, to yeah, the unsullied good. soldiers. And they just let him in, which is crazy, but yeah. Hmm. But here you can just see the anger on, on everybody. I mean, that was a good shot. All three of them here coming in. Yeah. Even the guy behind John there. I would have with that guy either. He looks that guy looks grumpy. I know. <laughs> Man, we used to sit by a guy in one of the cubes next to us. I think that's him. He was always mad. You remember? You, you dumped the water about? on him? <laughs> oh. Do you guys God. even work here? <laughs> no, I remember. <laughs> Oh, you know wow. what? Maybe that's a story time with Skiz later. Oh, that's a great story time that with Skiz. That is a good story time. Write that down. We'll put a pin in that one. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned. Oh, man. Oh, no, <laughs> Still there. All right. I, I just jumped right to the punchline. I blew it. Uh, yeah, you sure did. <laughs> so this is interesting, right? Because Danny's out there. She's destroying, you know, the place, right? And, and here's this kind of like... Eh, everything's okay. Look from Cersei. Yep, totally. She thinks she's completely she's safe in the so red. So naive, key. man. So yeah. naive. Well, I don't know what she's thinking. And and what's his name comes in and he's like, you know, the Iron Fleet's decimated. Um, and she, all the scorpions are. I wonder how he got that information that quick. I know. That, way. Yeah. that was pretty cool. Yeah. Amazing. But uh, yeah, all they the scorpions. They must have had Discord. <laughs> no, he can. He can see it. He can see it. Is that what it was? Yeah, they have a great vantage point there. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> that guy was too old to see anything. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, he was. But you know, she's just like, and, and oh, that look on. Her look, face. They're actually look at this. They're saying the screenshots actually before the fight started. Is that the case? Um, it could be, but uh, it, but, but I was, did see this look on her smug. after the fight started too. So she was looking be. smug even after the Iron Fleet was destroyed, yeah. and then you know, Danny just started, you know destroying what she had to and then the bell started ringing actually yeah and, and this is what i don't have a shot of is you had that 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 standoff between the army like john's army and the lannisters it, and uh they just had that face off and then the bell started ringing so the guys dropped their swords and you know they think hey everything's cool and this is when i you know this that's when when really bad things started to happen oh dude and this is where, you know, Danny just kind of lands, kind of looking out, right? Just kind of looking over the city and, and, and look at that look right there. She's that look making is, a decision. <clears throat> Do you know what she's doing there, dude? <clears throat> Sorry. Hmm. In this moment, and I remember watching this and being like, don't, don't, don't do it. And she was, she was fighting herself in this moment. 
I, you could tell that there was a voice inside her own mind saying, don't, yeah. don't pull the trigger. But this was the coin flip, right? This was like, you either are mad or you're not. And your next actions will tell the whole story. And all of a sudden she just decided, I'm a mad king or I'm a mad queen. And off she went. And the second she went, I was like, uh, there is no turning back from this. I didn't get that from this this shot. I, I got, for me, I think she was thinking, oh, did I leave my Starbucks cup in the <laughs> table in the last episode? Oh. <laughs> that, that's what that look is. It could be. It could be. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Oh, so I what did you what picture you really the Lannister soldiers? I forgot. <laughs> no, I agreed with these kids. I just wanted to make a joke. <laughs> oh, that was good. Uh, yeah, the Starbucks cup made it. If it wasn't for the Starbucks cup, she would have been just fine. Yeah, yeah. What was in that uh, cup? Hmm. Here you got Tyrion kind of just walk. He always, you know, he's on the battlefield. You know, it's pretty impressive, but he's always on the battlefield. Kind of walking in, seeing some of the destruction. And I think this was, yeah, this I'm pretty sure this was before the big destruction of the city. Um, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, but I mean, this is like that in. main gate and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, this is where he's starting to think, oh, it's uh, this is not going to be a pretty picture here. Right. This isn't going to go well. And here's so, the, yeah, here's, this the, was here's the standoff. Yeah. yeah, you got so it. So I did have it. Yeah, you had, we had that standoff, yeah. And this is where they dropped those swords. You can see them on the ground. So yeah, it was definitely... But is that yeah. some fire there? There is some fire still going on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this was that pivotal moment. And that picture we were looking at a second ago with, with Danny was right after they dropped all their swords and the bell started ringing, right? The, the, yeah. the, the whole bottom. That's that's what I find. So they dropped their swords. Everything's starting to neutralize. And it's just, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough for her. That was heartbreaking because this, so, when they dropped their swords, they reminded you that, you know, we're, we're people too. You know, so we, so we Flickman... In the chase, it would have been boring battle if it just ended there and they all lived happily after. This episode to me flew by. Like, if it would have ended there, I would have thought it was already like an hour and a half to do it. I mean, I didn't know, right? So it wasn't like mm -hmm. I was thinking, ah, it's still too early. There's still time for things. I don't look at any type of, I don't look at a clock. I don't look at my watch or my phone. I don't, I don't want to know how much time is left, right? And so for this one, I mean, it could have ended and I could have been like, oh, okay, but. Yeah, things went that other route. Instead. Do you think? Do you think part of the reason why Danny decided to just continue was because it, it all happened a little too easy, right? No, no, no. she just it wasn't enough. What are, she didn't. Enough. She didn't. She she didn't get enough bloodshed before the bell rang. Is what I What's mean. By, by what, that's what I mean by too easy, right? Oh, she, oh, oh. she if she had been able to kill more people before they surrendered. Maybe then she would have been like, okay, I got my, my, you know, and I got what I needed there, my revenge, right? But then they started ringing the bell and she's like, wait, I haven't even really killed anybody. So right. she's like, I'm going to, I got to do more, right? There's prices That's to right. She wasn't here, there to win. Right. She wasn't there to win the war. She wasn't there to win the battle. She was there to kill a lot of people. She was there yeah. to destroy. Yeah. Listen, those, that's, that's their family words. Targaryen words are fire and blood. And she did that. That's what it was. And I'm thinking like. Do you really want to rule this rubble? Like, if you're going to well, sit on the throne, do you really want to be looking at just rubble? Time. Like, right. don't you want, like, a city that's intact and stuff? Maybe maybe yeah. she's yeah. just starting over and says, you know what? I'm going to rule from Dragonstone. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. You know, maybe that. Hmm. She was just there. there. She was there for extinction. I think she we'll find out next week. But... Yeah. Yeah. Whew. Brutal. Yeah, but then, like, so, yeah, she started burning the place. Grey Worm just flipped a switch, right? Threw that spear through that guy. Yeah, he was uh, mad. And then everyone just started going crazy, just bloodthirsty, right? This is, they started sacking the city. And and John, you know, being John, right, he saw one of his own soldiers, like, going after a woman here. And, and he's, like, telling him to stop, telling him to stop, and he wouldn't. And he had to kill one of his own soldiers. Dude. Well, see, to me in this moment, that was the whole, like, John has not changed. He's going to do what's right. You oh, yeah. know what I mean? Or what he's going to do what he thinks is right. <clears throat> as much chaos as there was, he had, and maybe in his mind, he's like, I got one last chance to do a good, you know, do a good act here. Oh, jeez. So the interesting thing, I mean, like, with, with, with Grey Worm, right? I mean, he was an unsullied, an unsullied... They follow orders. That's what they do. They don't think for themselves, right? And so I just it's kind of interesting that that he did that. I know he was mourning his 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 woman and so forth. 
but it just seemed kind of odd to me that that's, he would have went off. That's why I thought that, that him and Danny actually had a talk about it before the battle at some point. Yeah, I mean, they had to, I think, too. Something. Like, we're going to get revenge. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if we'd ever, you know, we're probably not going to ever know if that was the case or not. We'll see. But um, the way that he just was like, nope, and threw his spear, I was like, oh, okay. That was, yeah, there's something else going on there. It was all planned. I felt that way anyway. Yep. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is uh, this is during the fight, yeah? During the fight with uh, yeah, this is, yeah, urine. Yeah. <clears throat> urine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know, yeah. I, like his death, Euron's death was like one that I literally could care less about. Like, I, I, you know what I mean? Like, I felt like he was just such kind of a worthless character yeah. for me. And, I, and he died. I'm like, eh, whatever. You know, <laughs> like, I didn't care. Well, the thing is, I mean, it was it was nice to see Jamie come out on top, but I found it very interesting that Euron's last words were so self indulged He's like, I killed Jamie Lannister. So I'm like, that's what you care about? But what more is, dude, you know you killed a dragon, right? <laughs> like that, that's what you should, really should be bringing home. That, that was, that was going to get, that's going to get you the date. It's the fact <laughs> that you killed a dragon, not that you killed another man. The, the one-armed man, yeah. You killed the one-armed man. Good job. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, bravo. <laughs> Super deep. He did, he did get a chance to slide in the, oh, yeah, I slept with your sister, by the way. In the, yeah. During the battle, that was that was cute. He's a super class <laughs> act. Jeez. Uh, but yeah, I guess it was it was good to see him. So here, you know, Jamie got injured, and he basically was like, "I got you" or whatever, right? So he was he thinking, like stabbed in his kidneys twice, right? How the heck did Jamie continue on? And what would have happened if they actually escaped? You know what I mean? Like, was he? He still probably would have died, right? He was gonna bleed out. So that, yeah, yeah. You think? But he wasn't oh, acting like it. Brutal. So I was yeah, really man, curious how that was going to play stud. out. <laughs> and oh, we had a man. super powerful scene here. Oh my gosh, yeah. this was amazing. I will say this, early on in the in the series, I never saw this dynamic coming between the Hound and Arya. I'm talking early, early on. I never, never saw this coming. It yeah. turned out to be a really endearing dynamic. Yeah. And this, uh, this had a lot of kind of flashback moment to when the hound was talking to Sansa many seasons ago trying to get her to come with him right to to escape it was it might have been in the same place even I don't know but uh, it kind of had the same verbiage even going on and stuff and and how many times do you hear him by his name instead right. of the hound right yeah yep so that one caught me off guard too I was like oh is that his is that his name <laughs> Like, who, who is she talking to? This, not my cat, everybody asking. That's going to be uh, McBean's lion screaming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it sounds... We're trying to decide if it's a kitty or a kitty. It's a kid. A kid E. yeah. Oh, it's my gosh, D that's not your cat? D, yes. That's, that's uh -huh. not your cat? I thought it was your cat, bro. I just saw his little one a couple of days ago. She's so cute. She was she came, she's like first thing she says to me is like like I'm three. <laughs> Holds up her fingers. <laughs> I'm this many. I'm this many. <laughs> Super cute. Oh man. Anyway. She does, yeah. She is. I think she's good now. I don't know. It's bedtime, you know, bedtime's up uh, oh, there she goes. But I don't want to go to bed. It's a tough time when it's <laughs> bedtime. McDean, thank you so much for the sub, the resub, it says. I don't have my dashboard up. Uh, two months strong. Thank you. Appreciate that for the continued support. But yeah, anyway, uh, so he's trying to he's trying to get her to to not follow him and and. Uh, I thought that was interesting. I don't, I'm sorry, I was a little distracted there, but I thought it was interesting that like that Arya just took it so easily. I me too. It was dude, that's okay. what I'm saying. Like he was okay. being a father to her. You know, he told her to do something. She said no. He told her again. She said no. She ignored him. She moved on, and he physically grabbed her and spun her around, and he drilled sense into her mind. Hmm. And then all of a sudden, she it just like clicked. Yeah. He was like an absolute father. And then the fact that she thanks him on on as they part, oh, jeez. Yeah, but and so he, and, and he said it beautifully too. It was like quite simple. You go this way, and you will die. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it's like okay, he she he knew that, right? He said, you know, when they were leaving Winterfell, the same kind of thing. And he rode all the way down to King's Landing with her for this. It just, uh, I I don't know. I I wonder like. 
where was Aria going after this? You know, what, what, what's her, what's her role then? I mean, I think it's completely different because of what the destruction that happened, but like, what was she thinking? Is, was she going to run back to Gendry now or something? It just, it, it seemed a little out of character for her. You mean as she left? Yeah. No, she just was going to live. Just live? She was so blinded by her own objective to kill Cersei that it was, it was. She was putting she, herself in she, yeah. she had extreme tunnel vision. Yep. And he snapped her out of it. And, he, and essentially he was like, "You at this moment, yeah, you're dangerous. You're obviously competent. But right now you're being stupid. You're not stronger then, than the buildings that are yeah. falling around you. Right, right. Yeah. Get out True. of here. Yeah. But let me just put this by you. If she would have waited two minutes, she could have killed Cersei. That's true. Yep. In, fact, in <laughs> fact, yeah, let's move on to this next picture because as Cersei parted, I thought that she was going to run directly into Ari and I was be like, yes. No, yes. you know what I saw? <laughs> I saw one of our earlier predictions coming true and that she was going to slip and fall on the steps and die. <laughs> Because that is what we said. We literally said that like weeks ago, right? That that's how yep. Cersei was going to die. But I thought she would. But I thought it was, it was a joke. It was a joke that she was going to slip and fall and die. I think I said it. I could probably find it in a replay. And I'm like, oh, steps here, it's coming. <laughs> I'm going to be yep. right. <laughs> Such an unfulfilling. She death. was very careful oh. going down those steps. Yeah, Very that would have been an unfulfilling death. Did we get much better? Uh, yeah. uh, but what a fulfilling one was is that guy on the left there, the ground. Oh jeez, yeah. His brains literally. Oh, that gosh. was wow. so sudden and, and and you gotta remember what McBean. What's that guy's name? I know he's Kyburn. the hand. What is it? Kyburn. Kyburn. He's he's the reason that Sir Gregory's still alive. Yeah. Well, you know, or he's alive, alive, but yeah. I don't even know what that is. Yeah. But when he did his thing, I was like, God, it was so fast, dude. And he just yeah. squish, just chucked him. Jeez, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Let's look, look at this the shot, helmet. though. Can we just look at the shot, though? You have the dragon in the background. Yep. yep. Yeah. The lighting of this. This was a. I thought I, from a cinematography, this was an amazing was shot. Magnificent. The lighting, all of it. I just, man, it, it reminded me a little bit, and and I hate this. That was not a good Star Wars, but the the one where Anakin at the end is fighting. Uh, yeah, he's fighting. Um, I was making fun of this the other day, actually. Were you? <laughs> it's over. I have the high ground. That's what I was you scared of. to make my power. I remember that moment. I was like, okay, this is the worst. <laughs> the mountain had the high ground here. I'm thinking this. I'm like, the light yeah. is similar. Oh, no. This isn't good. <laughs> yeah. that This, to me, dude, if, I, if anybody had, uh, there's no reason to second guess the hound's courage because you're up against the hound who's zombie and he has a high ground. This is not going to bode well for you. How, do you. how do you kill a man who's already dead? Right. Right. I mean, he got him like right in the chest. Nothing. Yeah. I mean, uh, how about the eyeball? So that's an interesting <laughs> point right there. The eyeball one, right? Like back when he had Aria for the first time, when he was on Aria's list to kill, she even said to him, I'm going to get a dagger. I'm going to stick it through your eye and it's going to stick out the back of your head. She said yes. that, and that's exactly what he did to his, his brother, brother here. Yep. And then he hmm. faced his biggest fear in the world when he pushed him through off into the fire, right? Yep. He went off he, into the he fire. Went, he went up in flames, his biggest fear in his whole life yep. is flames, yep. right? Yep. Oh, so it was, goodness. it was, uh, I don't know, like, for some reason, maybe I'm just, the Game of Thrones has taken so many twists and turns that I'm, every time I see something like that, I'm just like, they're not dead. They're not dead. Yeah, yeah. Nah, they'll well, be fine. They'll be back next well, episode. That's what I said. Impulse and I were watching it together, and they went through the fire, and I'm all, it'll be all right. <laughs> I could just imagine, yep, next episode, someone's going to be walking in the road. Arm's going to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah it'll be him. Get me out of here. I, I don't... I, yeah, there's I no don't time to bring him back to... anymore. There's one episode left. You're right. I didn't... I was starting to feel hopeless when he was stabbed him through the brain, and he was... And he pulled it out. I'm like, so what are you, what are you supposed to do? Yeah, exactly. I don't know what you're supposed to do. I think you have to chop his head off. Yeah, but he'd still be, be upset. <laughs> <laughs> his head would be so mad. <laughs> yeah. Man, this, this is what a woman will do to you guys right here. Let me tell you. Your sister! Uh, <laughs> sister, aunt, whatever. This, is, this would be me and Danny. If she was my aunt, I'd be constantly going back to her. Okay? <laughs> Doesn't matter how evil she is, how mean she is back well i'll tell you okay obviously my 
prediction about Jamie was wrong. I thought that he, yeah. when he left Brienne, he was going to go back to finish Cersei. Me too. This really surprised me. Really, even, really, really. Even surprised. at this moment right here, I was still holding on hope that he was going to see he had he had, had his hand on the side of her. I just thought he would be like, "Yeah, I'm just kidding," and you know, snap yeah, her yeah. neck right there. <laughs> yeah, but but that's just it. And I was I kind of wanted to think that too, but I'm like, there's no chance because right now she has no more power. There's there he wouldn't even be neutralizing a threat at this point. She has she's done. She's completely done. He's actually here for her. And I'm He's like, there for her and their unborn child. Yeah. I think that was a big factor in it as well. Yeah. Yeah. Because I thought he was gonna kill her as well. And uh no, I think it's yeah, there was nothing else. So This was it, another moment for me when everything collapsed. I'm like, yeah, they're fine. <laughs> and I'm like, I mean, there's like no confirmation. I need confirmation. I need to see, you know, somebody needs to go up and check their pulse and everything. And I don't get that. So I just wonder. Here, you know? Here's what they want to do. Here's, okay, listen here, writers that you already wrote it so you can't change anything. Here's what you want to do. Start next episode with all that rubble. Just, and it just like, the rubble just like slowly <laughs> comes apart and they're in there doing stuff. And br- <laughs> And Bran comes rolling up. <laughs> yeah, Here's the thing. All, he saw us. And, he, and Jamie just kicks over his wheelchair. Who knows if they're going to be able God. to identify her, but Brutal. they're going to be able to identify him with his golden hand. Yeah. What you say, McBean? They will be able to identify him with his golden hand. Yeah. Who knows if they'll be able to identify her. Um, yeah. But if they find him, they could probably, yeah, that's her too. Peace. She's yeah. dead. He's dead. They're dead. Yeah. So hopeless here. Hopeless. Everyone in the city. That's what that was. Uh, Jeez. So look at the green. Brutal. Yeah, the this little is... caches of uh, wildfire. So this is what the Mad King burned everybody the Mad with. Mad King had wildfire. hidden storages uh, throughout <clears throat> yep. the city, right? Or maybe Cersei was hoarding some for the battle. I don't know. Could be. Either, well, so right? to me, this whole <clears throat> to me this whole entire scene was the the memory of the mad king and the new mad queen coming together mm. right the greens in the background it's just like this it's like the the, the past and the history and now it's the new torture it's it's all they're they're all nuts the carrions are nuts you know what i mean and this i think it was supposed to be because this is what he did but he didn't have a dragon he did it all with uh, wildfire only only 50 percent of the time depends on if they got heads or tails <laughs> well, apparently that's a, a, a coin has the heads on one side, heads on the other, because none of them are good to go. Wait, John. He's John? but he's not full. He's half Stark. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, anyway. but no, that, so is she. I mean, she's she's basically half Martell, half Targaryen. Oh, that's right. Or no, no, so wait, there should wait, have no. been a twenty-five percent no, chance. No. Sorry, that was her brother. Her brother, John's. Yeah, I don't yeah, know what her she, mother is. She's. Yeah. I used Good to question. have I used to have a, a whole like flow chart for this. Yeah, I don't there you remember. Go. Oh, there you go. So who's her, but you know what? We need to go up though. <laughs> Who Look was at this. Her mom is what I want to know. Was she a Targaryen? Don't ask me how I had that locked and loaded. Jeez. Wow, I know that was pretty quick. <laughs> Jeez. Where yeah, yeah. How did you did you know we were gonna? No, just... I don't know. <laughs> you you know how sometimes being a hoarder is actually a good thing. <laughs> that was it. I saved that just for just in case this ever came up. <laughs> so who's where's where am I on this? Um, <laughs> you're left uh, out. Well, uh, someday you might be just to the right. Here is her new. Fling. Their parents were sisters. <laughs> oh, they're sisters. Wow. Her brother and sister. Her mom was her aunt too. Okay, yeah. Okay, so yeah, maybe yeah. She was uh, she was pure blood. <laughs> wow, this is nuts. Yeah, <clears throat> crazy. So you know, an interesting uh, thing. So here, again, more of the carnage, more carnage. City just burning. So if you remember that last uh, slide we had of Danny, where she was conflicted and the kind of the you know the switch went off and that decision. That was the last time she was seen in the entire episode. And that was pretty, you know, like halfway in the show. I mean, everything else, you just saw the dragon. You didn't see her. Of course, she was on the dragon. But wow. if you didn't see her, there was no more of her. It was just the dragon. And that's, that's who she is, right? It's, it's the dragon. Don't want to hmm. wake the dragon, like her brother used to say. I wonder what the dragon was with him. I think we know. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, then uh, Arya. So did anybody else, right? All this is going on. Arya gets up. She looks at the dragon. 
Did anybody else say, I said this out loud. I said, say her name. I said, say her name. Damn. Oh, oh, as in added, added to the list. Yes. That would have been excellent. Well, exactly. I mean, she came, she came there with one goal in mind, and that was to kill the queen. Well, the new queen is Danny, right? Yep. And so she's just as bad as Cersei. Yes. So she Arya's absolutely. changing her target is actually makes a lot of sense to me, and I was kind of thinking that too after the fact. Yeah, I, I agree, McBean. I think that would have been great writing right there, except for the fact that from a writing standpoint, it just cannot be Ari who kills her. I know. That's yeah, because she's Ari, be, yeah, she can't be the superhero. Too redundant. Whatever, you can't so, yeah. save mankind you cannot save all of mankind twice. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Sad. Wow. Uh and then yeah, I think the the last one. Now this is an interesting one here. Big cutout. Yeah. <clears throat> this uh kind of goes back actually to the books here um in uh danny's last chapter in uh in dance of dragons then they talk about uh, the pale mare and of course who rides the pale mare do we know death death rides the pale mare so, really yeah i think that's exact i i i agree it can't be her too easy but uh, something's yeah. She's gonna she's gonna do something. She is gonna okay. do something. Look how much blood is on that white horse. Oh, a yeah. beautiful horse. Yeah. Hmm. It's, it's almost crazy. like yeah. She's found some new purpose in this moment right here. Oh yeah. Yep. She has. Well, uh, I think I read something today where I guess that that little girl that she had tried to save, right? The mom and the the girl. Mm-hmm. The mom had saved her, and then she was trying to repay the favor, and instead led them right to their death basically they burned the little girl was holding like a little white horse toy in her hand yeah she had a horse yeah Yeah. and it was burnt as well yeah when when, uh when she found her body there uh it looked like a scene from pompeii which john snow was in (laughs) yep that's it for the slides um we got through that i want to i want to do something else here though right i've got some slides i'm going to share out here guys so a lot of people, and and because you'd mentioned it, you said that Danny was mad, that she went mad, and I don't think so. I think this was always in her DNA. I think this was always her. I mean, I think first off, one of the things that I I don't have um, some slides for is she was. I mean, her family was brutally murdered. Um, her and her brother had to escape to Essos. They went to Pentos. I mean, they went to a lot of different places, right? She had a very difficult upbringing, right? I mean, we saw her brother and how he treated her. And if you think about it, when she was married to Cal Drago, Drogo, right? She, in the books, she was like 13 years old, right? In the show, obviously a little bit older. But let's not forget that she was raped by him, right? I mean, she, she was crying the entire time when they consummated their marriage there. And... Uh, I think she got a little bit of Stockholm syndrome or, you know what I mean? And she fell in love with him that way. Of course she had the baby. So there was love there, but I mean, that's not an easy thing to, to kind of get out of your mind. And then, you know, while this is all going on, take a look here. You remember this scene? This yeah. Was yeah. Season, right? <clears throat> yeah. They covered she, this after the show. This is incredible. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. you, you had him, you know, with his, with his golden crown, Right. And she's sitting there. She's watching her brother get brutally murdered. Right. And she's OK with it, you know. And if you remember in the, the I think it was the next season. You had her uh, going to Karth. And in Karth, right, she's trying to get into the city. Most of her Kalasar is dead and dying. She's got these three little dragons that are the size of rats. And she even tells them here that when they're fully grown, she will come back and she will burn this city down if they don't let her in, right? Again, this is way back, right? She had these tendencies back then. So it's not like she went mad. She had this in her. Remember when she went to Marine? She put all of those slave uh, owners up on there pointing out there. And I forget how many miles it was. It was like 100 and nothing. 61 mile markers maybe i don't remember but she ordered this to happen 
right? Here's the difference between like a civilized nation, a civilized ruler is like here in the United States, we have no cruel and unusual punishment. This is cruel and unusual punishment. This is proven a point. This is letting people know that you're capable of doing truly evil things. Okay. And so, you know, for her, it's, it's, it's crazy. Right. And it, it doesn't end there. She also decided to feed some of those leaders of the city to her dragon in the dragon pit because she didn't know who the, the harpy was. So she figured she'd sacrifice some of those people there. Crazy. It's just, this is just, this is her DNA. She burned a whole village or a whole building of cows, right? Of, she, just because they were having a trial and she said, you know what? I'm the one in charge. I'm going to kill all of you. She's a psychopath, right? I think the show just showed maybe some positive spins on her. And of course, let's not forget our friend Dick and Tarly, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> These guys didn't want to bend the knee. She could have sent them to the wall. She could have done something, but no, she decides to prove a point and burn them alive. But none, of, that, none of those actions were um, unprovoked. You know what I mean? Every single action, you, you, like even though it was like, because I agree with you. Impulse and I were talking about this last night. I actually brought up the scene where all those previous masters were, you know, nailed up to those things, those posts. I brought up that scene. I was like, that was the first time I saw something where I was like, woo, like yeah. she's got, she's got a dark side to her. But none of these actions were unprovoked. Dark, yes. You know what I mean? The 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 reason I I feel like she went. I understand. I understand what you're saying. That there's there's a lot. There was a lot there to work with, right? But that scene at the end there in this in this uh, last episode. That was the that was the switch. That was it flipping. The war was over. These people just surrendered. The, you won. Everything's over. Nobody has to die anymore. You're going to get everything you want. Uh, turns out what you want is more blood. You That's know, what and, she wanted. Yeah. 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 The whole time. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe I mean, she definitely. was hiding behind the veil. She was hiding behind the veil of doing the right thing and being a hero and being the freer of chains. You know, she was hiding behind that just as an excuse to get blood and and be loved at the same time. Yeah, there definitely was some foreshadowing that she could easily go too far, right? Yeah. It's just, yep. uh, you know, she's hot, so we overlooked it. I, I still do. Was. Yep. I still do. I'd still be there. I still will. <laughs> You're still fine with it. But she, yep. she burned the whole city. She did all that that we just talked about. She's definitely crazy. But you know what? She, I would um, still marry her. <laughs> or I don't know. She, she her I don't dragon know. could be burning twisted. me alive. I'd be like, uh, it's cool. It's You're fine. Hot. But oh, we know goodness. John won't forgive her. No, no, no. John is not going to forgive her at all. And that's going to be the interesting episode is how does John do this? There's no way he can follow her now. It's not in his character to follow somebody who can do that. Right. See, and I think what's going to, I think he's going to be the one that ends up, I, I've been, I, I'm constantly wrong. So I might as well take another swing here, but I think he's going to be the one who uh, actually kills her. And I think what's going to provoke it, is that she's going to set Dracarys on him. The dragon's going to burn him, and he's going to come out just fine. And he they, burns. They, 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 I tell how you, you know they, that? So they, fr from book one, season one, they, they, they have made this point with him that he is not immune to fire. If you remember back when he was, uh, he was in Castle Black, and the White Walker came. This is before. So the White Walker came and attacked um, the old bear, uh, Jorah Mormont's uh, father. Um, and John came in there with his wolf and they killed that white Walker. They burned him. And John picked up a, a lantern on the wall and threw it at him. And he's always kind of holding onto his hand and in the books. It's always bothering him that burn that he has on his hand. So he's not immune to really? fire. <laughs> yes. And they make that okay. point. There's those subtle hints every single time, but yeah, so he's now he may come back to life just because he's John Snow and he can do that. But I think he would be. Yeah, there. but if he I'm got burned for that, I don't know. You know what's going to happen is that they're both going to die together, the way the Hound and his brother did, and then, and then Tyrion's going to rule all. I think you know, Tyrion would be a good leader, a good ruler. Um, oh, definitely. What about Sansa? Yeah, I think she'd be very good. Yeah, I do. I one of the one of my favorite lines from her was right before she killed Littlefinger, and when she said, "I'm a slow learner," it's true but I learn. 
That was a great moment. And then it, you, you saw this metamorphosis with her character where she was actually slowly becoming smarter than everyone, than everybody around her, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see. We did get a, a preview for next week. I think it was that another was a preview. I think it was another uh, kind of short one, right? <laughs> like two seconds. I think. This, I think at this, this point, I was here. still like trying to figure out what it, what I just watched. I think this is John right there. Yeah, that's John and Davos, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh boy, look at that! Walking, walking in the rubble. Walking through the aftermath. Walking through the rubble. <laughs> Jaren, Jaren the looking around the corner. The Am I gonna die? No red keep. That's gone. Oh. This is just, yeah, okay. Final episode. Got to remind us. Thanks for that. Now is th is that Arya? It looks like it. it. Looks like it. Yeah, it's hard to tell, but I, I from the hair, I think it I'm is. I'm thinking it is. Yep. Yeah, we see there her. She's again. Yep. Oh, she looks mad. Oh yeah. Well, she's probably thinking, why does she still have this power? She still has all the unsullied following her. So a lot of them left. Well, what's interesting, she doesn't have any people, though. She just has an army. It's just her and an army. That's all you need when you rule. But you have no people. You got a whole the continent. Army's not going to do the whole continent. Farming. This is just the, it's just the capital. There's, She's got the Dothraki. They're yeah. all happy they won. They, I mean, they don't seem... <laughs> They don't seem too disturbed about what they just watched happen. The yeah, whole but, but think they, they should right? Yeah, I mean Dothraki. They yeah, should. That. That's what they did, right? Yeah. And there she comes. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I can't wait to rule this burning cesspool. Yeah. Jeez. She needs yeah. another dragon that breathes water. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> Go and put out all the fires. She's gonna need all those troops to rebuild the city and make it decent again. Jeez. All right, what, what's happening? What's happening next episode? Uh, all right, um, predictions. Um, Danny's gonna die. Yes, Danny's dying. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you think? Uh, I'm sorry, Mama just said unsullied aren't re rebuilding the population. <laughs> that's what I was exactly. That's what I was thinking. She's like, okay, you guys, are, you go over there and procreate. They're like, yeah, we can't do that. <laughs> So yeah, that, all right. Uh, I, I think I think John unfortunately has to kill Danny. But then, I hope Tyrion does not it, die. I really don't want Tyrion to so, die. But but okay, let's. Let, if John kills Danny, what of her army? Don't you think her army will want to avenge? Her? No, I think if he kills her, I I actually think the dragon will answer to him. That that's okay. So that was going to be my question. I said Ooh, better. I, I was thinking think better better question. John kills Danny. What about the dragon? Yeah. I what about the dragon? And I think, personally, I think the dragon's going to die before Danny. That's what I think. I think that uh, there's no reason to have dragons after Danny, right? It's It was the last of the line anyway, unless there's more eggs out there somewhere Ooh. that we don't know about. But there's no, it's not like those, there's only one dragon left. It's not like he's gonna, they're going to have more dragons. Right. Oh my God! So, John's gonna kill the dragon. And, and I don't uh. think I don't think after after what the dragon just did, right, that anybody's gonna feel comfortable with having a dragon around post Danny. So I think the dragon's gonna go first. That's my guess. There's so, I don't think they should have a dragon after Danny's gone. In in the chat, it was Echoes who said Bran wars into the dragon. Now wouldn't that be interesting, right? Bran wargs into the dragon. Kills all of the unsullied and Dothraki army. Well, he's a kind of a day late, if that's the case, because well, he should have maybe, maybe taken over. That. And yeah, he's in a wheelchair. It takes a while to get down there. <laughs> he's still going. Oh, he doesn't he's... have to. He has <laughs> a cell phone right here. Yeah. Uh, uh, who knows? I don't know. Yeah, I, I just I don't see I don't see the dragon being around at the end. But we'll see. Man, I, yeah, I I hope Tyrion doesn't die. I hope he. So that would be nice if it was him on the Iron Throne. But, yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, I really don't want him to die. So what about Bran, though? I mean, seriously, what, I mean, what's the whole purpose of Bran if he doesn't do something? I mean, what has been his purpose then? He's the, he's the Three-Eyed three Raven. raven. Yeah, okay. what, was the, what was the point of the previous one? Uh, They're just seriously characters that just have the burden of knowledge. Yeah, but you don't highlight a character, though. 
if that's the case. Was his whole purpose mm. just for the White Walker battle, and now he has no purpose anymore? So it's, what, it's a done What did he do line. in the White Walker battle? Nothing. He was he was bait. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope to do. That's a big I, job. I hope to they have. do something with him. He had to sit under the tree. <laughs> it just is silly. I mean, because yeah, you've got to like the the they've got to have some scenes in Winterfell. You've got to have Sansa and him. They've got to be in the next episode. There's an awful lot to tie up in one episode. That's Dude. the one complaint, right? For I've, I've been okay. I thought this episode was actually really good. Um, it's just the whole season. I just wish it just feels so rushed. Yeah, you know? definitely. I wish they would have taken their time a little bit. And I felt like the Cersei death was very unfulfilling. That one yeah. left such a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah, we wanted her to suffer. Was. Very unfulfilling. You don't build somebody up to be a monster like that just to have a building crush them. Like, somebody <laughs> needs to kill her. And it needs to be sweet, sweet revenge when it happens, no. right? And we didn't get that at all. It was no. so unfulfilling the way she died. So that we one, that, you know, the rest of the episode I thought was good. Um, really loved the way the Hound went out. But the Cersei death, I was just like, come on. Give me something yeah. better than that. You don't build somebody up like that and have that be the end of them. So yeah. if, to me, it felt like they were they were just trying to write it in a way that she's going to die in a way nobody expects. Because yeah. yeah, nobody would have wanted that is the problem, right? <laughs> so I don't know. That, that, well, that piece got me a little bit. But yeah, I was happy with the rest of the episode. I'm sorry. I'm sure you saw a piece of this. But one thing I was hoping we'd have an image for was this was one of the most terrified I've ever been in the history of just watching TV or movies or whatever. And it was coming up on, uh, on Barry's death when she's looking at him. And then this just appears behind her. Oh yeah. I watching the show. I just, I, it's worth mentioning. Cause I was like, you know what? Again, cause McBean and I like to talk about the cinematography and stuff. This is, this was so well done because I did not know the dragon was there. Nope. And when it just appeared as if from nowhere, I was like, Oh my God. And you got to give it to Varys because he was totally stoic about it. Didn't well, scream. Didn't do nothing. No, didn't plead. He knew it was all futile. He knew it was about to happen. Yeah. And looking at that thing's face, he knew that, Oh my God, that was so scary, dude. Oh man. Let's look at it again. <laughs> look at it. Creepy. Okay. Oh. Um, <sighs> just one episode. It's all over. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You know, what would be great is at the end of the episode, George R. R. Martin comes on and says, the book's getting released tomorrow. That would make me happy. Yeah. He's like, and the show is way off. Here, here, exactly. <laughs> Here's what the show should have done. Uh, I know. We probably still got another two or three years. Jeez. It's just ridiculous. Uh, five five spinoffs later, we're going to get that book. I know. That's what scares me is he's wasting his time on that. Yeah. But That's yeah, sad. yeah, we'll see how we feel next week. I mean, there's a lot of, I mean, there was a lot of just negative energy about this season in general, this episode on, you know, social media. And it was, it was kind of tough, you know, because I feel like people are being a little too harsh, too, too critical of it. And, and yeah, I can oh, get, yeah. I mean, I can get like, okay, the way Cersei died left a bad taste in my mouth. I'm not going to go flame the show over that, right? Uh, yeah, I don't think that I don't think the writing made. is horrible. People are acting like it's the worst writing ever, and blah, you know, people are going a little too crazy. I think. I mean, I can see where they're coming from a little bit, but I still think that we've been given an absolute wonderful piece of entertainment to watch for many, many years. It's like my wife recalled the fact that like our youngest wasn't even born when the show started. <laughs> and, and now she's like in first grade, you know what I mean? So it's, we've this, we've been enjoying the show for many, many years and it's going to come to an end yeah. next week. And that is just absolutely crazy to think of. It really is. This show, it, I, we, oh, man, I used to like McBean when it started. <laughs> <laughs> How long ago, wait, this is eight seasons. So it's been about like eight, nine years. Eight, eight years. I think it was man. 2011. Uh, sometime in 2011, probably earlier 2011, if I'm not mistaken, or mid. Anyway. Jeez. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we didn't, yeah, we didn't even watch the. So, 
I mean, you had another, you had another <laughs> moment where you cut out. Like that was for his stuff. Uh, did I? Yet, nah, um, and then he goes at the very end. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> uh, we got to figure that out. Well, you cut out so much anyway. Oh, okay. We thought we had it solved. Oh. You know what you should do? You just need to get different internet, which I think might happen organically. Um. <laughs> True. <laughs> but, yeah. Two weeks. We'll be, uh, we'll be recapping the final episode next week, and then we can talk about how we feel overall of the entire saga, right? I kind of want to go back, and I, I was talking to my wife about this as well. I kind of want to go back and start, like, season one, binge watch all the way through all over again as soon as this is over. That would be cool. Knowing now what you know and watching it from the, the start again would be kind of fun. God, I've seen it so many times, though. What do you but mean? you're right. You would catch the little things, maybe. Yeah, oh, yeah. I've never rewatched any of them. I don't want either. to. I, I, I've I, probably seen the series three times. Oh wow! Yeah, wow. at least. I see. I'm somebody who like when when the story is what drives the the movie or the TV show. I'm only a one time dude, but when it's something where it's like, like I love the movie Dumb and Dumber, for example, right? I can watch that over and over again because the story. Who cares about the story? It's about the the their stuff. This is something I would I, I would like to watch all over again. I really really would, but I, yeah. but it's almost like so good that I'm like I hate the idea of knowing everything that's about to. Come. No, you're gonna catch so much, so many like little foreshadowing things and little details yep. that at the time made no sense, but now you know. Oh, they're actually talking about what's gonna happen three seasons from now. You know, I think it's gonna be cool to watch back. Yeah, yeah. Totally. So how? So what else old? am I gonna do? It's gonna be over. Yeah. How old does your <laughs> child have to be before they watch? the question because i'll rewatch it then uh, <laughs> geez that's a tough one 37 <laughs> i don't know i don't know i want to say seven, i mean listen it's, it's rated r right 16 17 i'd feel more comfortable but at least yeah i agree at least 16 probably feel more comfortable at 17 <laughs> by 18 it's like they can move out and watch it on their own so yep. Um, so I don't know, somewhere know, in there, the thing, yeah. between 16 I, and 17. I think it depends. A- age is, you guys know, I mean, age is just a number, right? It really depends on the maturity of the actual uh, Sure thing, R. And, Kelly. So you'd have oh to, I think goodness. you'd have to, I think you'd have to judge that based off of the maturity level of your, of your child, right? Not just yeah. the number. Yeah, it would be awkward though. You know, I'm watching it. Jamie pushes out Bran because he got caught with his sister. And, yeah, that would be weird. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. how do you explain that i know so i think uh, now's gentlemen. a good time to talk about the birds and the bees yeah, yeah. <laughs> i know you're sometimes an adult and you're the married, birds but... and the bees are related <laughs> oh, it's not very common it's actually pretty gross in this show it's common though oh man well, if you're waiting for that long maybe <laughs> yeah i don't know you already got other problems so uh, yeah all right, let's see who is streaming. Who can we raid? Uh, I, let's see. I it's probably an 18 plus stream, but this was pretty close anyway. So um, a, a good buddy of mine, amazing drummer, is actually doing some art. So that could be fun. Uh, Brilliant Buffoons is his name. Awesome dude. And I'd love to send some people his way. So let's raid Brilliant Buffoons. Give him a follow. Let him know who sent you. All that kind of stuff. He's a really cool dude. And uh, yeah, we'll do that. So there. Oh, you guys already got the, the links. Good job. Thanks. They're all Thanks, over Evil. It. You guys are the best. Thank you. A lot of fun tonight again, as always. And hopefully we'll see you guys again next week. All Thanks right. for coming by, everybody. Appreciate it. Mm, Bye.